I'm taking my daughter to a very special woman. I started with its horses when I was old already. I was just office girl for everything, you know, on the farm. But I've never been dirty, I've never been like smelly, I've never been sweaty. <laughs> I just didn't know anything about horses. I just was sitting in the office and I looked from the window and I said, why the horses are so wild out there? Why they don't do anything like something important? And my boss was like, about what? You can do like hypotherapy or something. And he said, study and do it. And I said, I don't know anything about horses. It was just something inside me like, go for it. He helped me to set up sessions with uh, professionals. They told me, let's go up to the horseback and I show you how it works. I sit on the horse and she turns me around. She put my head on his back. She walked with me like 10 minutes and I was just like lying on the horse. And I was like, wow. Oh my God, it's so relaxing. I felt like I had 100 pounds less of stress and that was the moment. I was thinking I should do something more about it. All these days when she was just training the horses, I didn't even realize I got a lot of skills. I to do it on my own. And then you actually got the connection with the horse. And I got the connection with all our horses. And it just completely filled my heart. So when my girl was born, I told my husband, I can't live without horses. I want her to have this passion like I got. I just want to pass it to her. I just want to show her. Since she was little, actually, I just started to walking with her on a, on a big horse so she could get the movement, she could feel, she could smell. When she started walking, I just put her on a body so she could learn how to keep the balance. Almost whole year, like really hard, but all of a sudden she started riding. She was three years old and she started galloping her horse. I'm teaching my daughter to know that you have to clean them. You have to wash them. You need to take care of them first. That's the first thing before you actually put a saddle and go riding. That's just bottom line, you know. I want her to know the horse are so as well. So once you get off him, I want her to be thankful. You know, I just want her to say thank you, buddy. Give him some treat. I don't want her to just grab the saddle and go away. You know, I'm just teaching the relationship with the horse. Friends, kids, and who, everybody who came in, and I just gave them right. I find out that if they don't do any exercising, they don't have a balance and they can slide down even though they have straps or even though they can hold themselves they don't have a balance kids are living in subdivision every day are on the phones ipads they're losing the touch with the animals they're losing touch with the nature they just they're just losing what is what is really nice let's do something more Let's bring the horses to the kids. It's Texas, you know, and let's bring the horses to the their homes, to schools or church or wherever we go and bring it to them. I set up a little business and we're doing pony rides, we're doing special events, mom sessions, whoever just wants to get out. They call us, we bring the horses, ponies, After we returned back home, my daughter didn't stop to talk about horses. 
Even after a few months, she still has it deeply in her mind. I realized this wasn't just a horse riding, but a lifetime experience she will remember forever. <laughs>